Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Armada Megatron. It's a big figure, not gonna lie. Look at this beast. Also comes with Mini Con. This is Leader One. So, just for a size comparison, that is Megatron. And that is Optimus. So, you can see he's humongous. Ultra class, almost leader class size. So it's a good size figure. All right, here's the box. Transformers Armada. There is, it has light and sound and hopefully I can show you that. So there's Megatron back in 2002. Megatron comes with the, uh, there he is, he's bulky. And he is when I transform him. And he does have a few little extra gimmicks as the uh, leader one mini con. And then hopefully I remember all the gimmicks as a few modes. And I, I wish it looked this good. It's an interesting figure, and even though it says it's a uh, expert changing, it, it's easy. And if you must, there's the bio. Pause it if you really want to read. It. Top of the box. Bottom of the box. Good. Awesome. Let's look at the figure. It's humongous. It's a tank, and it is a transformer laid over. You can tell. <laughs> there's no, and it rolls well. It reminds me of G2 Megatron in that sense. It's about that big. It's freaking huge. I already showed you the size comparison. So there he is with Optimus. So freaking humongous. You can tell, duh, those are the feet in the back. You can see the ratchet joints on the bottom. And if you see it from the bottom, yeah, you know that's a robot laid over. It's kind of like long arm from the uh, Transformers Armada. That's cause, that's what it reminds me, sorry. Transformers Animated. It has these pinchers, which is one of the gimmicks. Yeah, the pincher is one of the gimmicks. It has a ton of gimmicks too. I'm gonna leave the Minicon here for now. Well, let me see, because he does have these launchers over here. And he does come with a third launcher, but I haven't found a use for this darn thing, so. Maybe I'll show you later. Oh, but one more thing I forgot. Comes with this neat little poster, sticker, and of course instruction sheets, and a comic book. If you really want to read it, there's Hot Shot being beat up by, I forget, who is that? There is that combined mode for Armada, Optimus Prime, and Jetfire. The little three Armada teams. Let's see what other things we got. Hot Shot, Demolisher, Cyclonus, Laser Beak, Long Red Alert, and there's Megatron and Starscream. Yeah, he's got a ton of Minicon ports. And Super Awesome Armada Optimus Prime, which I really want. And you can combine the, the dude. And I mentioned it'd be coming in with an instruction sheet. All right, so as far as features, we got the Minicon here, which you can see is laid over. He does have this little gimmick where you press the Minicon right here in this little slot right here. And this launcher right here will come out. Oh, and it has electronics. See if uh, see if that lights up. Yeah, you can kind of see maybe. So yeah, it does do a lot of voices. And if you want to shoot the missiles, there's a little trigger right here that you use little tab right here and it goes pretty far so I'm gonna leave that for now all right what other gimmicks we have oh yeah this also is a missile launcher right here so and all you have to do is press down see that spring loaded so just press down Ooh, it shoots too all right so it doesn't shoot very well <laughs> but there goes the sound effect. And it also has a transformation sound effect. I believe when you press the Minicon on top right here. Oh yeah. This thing rotates. So yeah, it's gunfire. Like a machine gun. Alright. Whew. I got a lot of things here. What other things does it have? Uh, as far as gimmicks, you have this little switch over here. Which just pulls up. And if you want to put the Minicon on the front here, you can. Looks kind of weird though. Oh, and that's another gimmick that I accidentally press this button right here and these flaps. Yeah, don't know what that does. I already mentioned the little pincers. Kind of neat. And as I mentioned, it was a pretty windy day. There goes my setup. 
give me a second. It's the second time this happened. All right, where was I? All right, yeah. Transformation, nope, not yet there. So what we gotta do, what do we see? Yeah, let me put this back together again. Kind of ruin my concentration here for a second. We have to put the side over here. Actually pulls out, opens up. And I believe you can store stuff in there, like missiles. Are they big enough for the missile? No. What's it even there for? All right, the side over here does pop out. And there's a little ramp here, like for a Minicon. What happened to my Minicon? Did I swallow that thing? Nope. Yeah, so the ramp does just go in here. And there's this little cloth thing that comes in and grabs things. Interesting, but not the biggest thing in the world. All right, what else we got? Uh, we got all these features. We got that. Yeah, I believe that's it. I think I showed you everything. Whew, that's enough. Let's put that boy down here for a second while I try to straighten that up. There we go. All right, so whew, let's go ahead and transform this humongous thing. I love the little face piece to try to cover his head, and he's got a fierce head sculpt. I must say it's pretty awesome. Legs come down. Duh. Heel spurs up. Feet down. I mean, this guy is a clunker. Let me see. I know this has to rotate, so we're going to rotate the legs. But in order to... Oh, that's another thing. Is when you're transforming, he says that. Decepticons attack. So we're going to rotate that. So he's got a waist swivel. Okay. And the turret goes forward, which is kind of neat because now you can mount his. Although it doesn't fire that well. Arms just come up from the side here. And that's pretty much it. As far as articulation, kind of limited. The hip wretches out, doesn't move forward, so it goes side to side. No knee articulation. Oh, let me give the tank a 7 out of 10, because it's kind of neat for its sense. I like the molding too. I don't know if I told you about that, but it got pretty good molding. And you can tell, even with the extra gimmicks in the front, the headlights, so that's kind of neat. All right. I like the purple. And you can hear that even with the garish safety orange, you can still hear that satisfying ratchet joint on the shoulder. It has a swivel on the elbow and ratchets at the elbow. So it has a waist swivel. And it is kind of neat in that respect. So there we go. Man. Still a brick though. Let's go ahead and there we go set him up he's sturdy he's no doubt sturdy and as far as size comparison side this is with deluxe class megatron so you can see he's a big boy and i'm gonna put jet fire to show you let's see how tall is this bad boy i'm gonna say just seven and a half almost seven three quarter inches so he is just slightly taller than a voyager's class so let me show you the Minicon over here. So there's your size comparison. What other gimmicks does he have? He has a few gimmicks. One is you can connect the Minicon right here and he has a shiv. I don't know if you can tell, but there's this little thing. And yeah, let me see if it pops out. Okay, there we go. You move the Minicon forward and he has that shiv. That's pretty awesome, huh? So you can shank somebody with that. <laughs> That's awesome. What are the forms we got? Okay. I know that you can use the Minicon as a weapon. And that's what I really dig about this is he, he does become a weapon. And to do that, just basically fold him out and put one of his arms down. Or both. And his arm is a tab which can only be put right here. And yeah, it's a stretch for a weapon. 
it works <laughs> if it wants to stay in yeah it's not the greatest weapon in the world but it is what it is and trust me it is painful to get that sucker in there okay you're gonna have to take my word second thing is I don't know why they have this storage unit over here but you can transform the minicon and he would actually fit in this little device right here close in and you can fire I don't know it's just an extra weapon you can store the missiles also up here see what happened to all my other missiles yeah it's not the it's kind of a lame little gimmick but it is what it is that one stores neatly and this one not so much maybe I'm putting it in backwards no Go. It is like a weird looking storage space for missiles. I, I like the neat little space over here. It, it does have neat little gimmicks and it looks good. So I'm not gonna. Yeah, I like it. And the missile still fires down here. All you have to do is just press a little spring load. And, yeah. <laughs> what a dud. Anyways. I like the guy. He, he does have character. He's a big brick, but he looks good. And Megatron looks great. He has head swivels. And I just love that fierce head sculpt. So I'm still going to give it a 7 out of 10, even though he's a big, huge brick. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got. And I'll uh, catch you all next time.